So what we have here is a special demonstration system we built for a science fair for University of Hawaii. It's four foot by four foot. We start off with, we have a 55 gallon aquarium. We would have fish in this. What we're demonstrating here is our burper valve. This is a one-way valve here. The water comes over here. The air is coming down the green hose that you see here. It comes down here and the water burps across, shoots up, and brings the water all the way up here to a collector. The collector delivers the water here. What it's gonna do here is fill up the cinder bed. And as you see, the water is rising here. It comes up in the cinder and in here. And there's a pass through here coming into this side. This side has the filler. And as you see there, you have an overflow tube there that sets the height of the water where it will be in the cinder bed. Now, if I put this back over, you see the castle cuts at the bottom of it. As the water approaches the fill, the water is going to go down the overflow tube and you're going to see it come out here and it's going to siphon. Now when she siphons, notice that the water is going to go down here. It's going down here and you notice you have a false floor in the center bed here. Now it's going to drain and this is all going to be drip dry here. Then the water hit the end of the white pipe, broke the siphon and the whole thing starts filling back up again. No moving parts in the system, nothing to wear out. Over here is a siphon. This siphon, if you run the water into here, into there, you will then get a, uh, it will fill up in the bucket. When the bucket fills up to this height, it will come across, come down, and create the siphon and come out. The air brake is here. The half inch comes here. It comes down, and you can see it through the see-through pipe. And when the water comes down to here, the air is going to go in. Air is going to go up, come over, break the siphon, and stop the system. Another cute system, we can run this air pump, or by changing the valve here, I can open up this one and close that one, and that will start up the tea maker. And this tea maker here, you'll see the water spitting out. Well, this is a bag of worm castings. And that worm castings then will become brown, and that water is being pumped up now. You see the green hose here? The green hose comes down to this fitting here. The air comes here and it goes up the half inch tube, burping into there, okay? When the, this water gets up so high, the pressure will come, the air will start to escape over here. When she gets up that high, where you can't lift it anymore, then this thing will deploy and it will drop the water back down. So this is a tea maker. So this one is a sack here. Now we put worm castings in and just let it hang in there, okay, suspend it. And the water's going to build up, it's going to mix with the tea, yeah, until the water can only get so high, which will be about here, and then it's going to back flush. When it back flush, it will aerate the tea maker. Yeah. While we're waiting for that one to come, look at this, our bucket type in here. All of this is running simultaneously. Now we have a siphon going here. Now this siphon is going to drain down. The water in here is going to drain down. And it's going to come over here. Oh, we're coming to the back flush moment over here in our tea maker. The tea maker now, the water is coming down. Coming down all the way to there. And you see your water coming out, and that aerates your tea. Great thing. So all the system is running at one time. So you're watching this one, you're watching your siphon come down here. Now this one could have a bucket inside here. This could also be a tea maker if you wanted to. Now you notice here, you're going to see the water come down. And when it gets down to the end of the white pipe, you're going to hear the gurgle. Boom. And then over here, she stops. And now in here, the water will start filling up again. Okay. So. By using these little one-way valves, we can control where the water goes. If I want to, I can send it up this tube and it go up to here. And I can control the rate of the flow, how fast I want to fill it up. Now, if we come over to this one, this is a cute little system. You have a double tray here, one tray sitting inside the other, holes in the bottom of this one, drain into this one. Now the water's coming into here and now it has triggered the siphon. The water it got up to here, fell down, made bubbles and now the water's shooting out and you have a siphon running now the water is going to come down to the end of this tube and when it hits the end of that tube you notice here it's sucking the water in there it's going to let the air come in here and bingo broke the siphon 
and the water stops coming out. Now the water's always coming in over here, so now you're going to see this one fill back up again. So this water will go up and down together, okay? And this is your air brake. So now where did the water go? It came down to here, and this would be your float bled, and these would be your plants, and the roots would be hanging down on the water. Then that water would overflow into this little overflow pipe there and return to the fish aquarium. So it's a complete turnaround system. So this is a little system we did just for the science fair, just to show you in a very neat, compact space how the different things work. We have show and tell, that we have the bell siphons, like this to show you. We show one-way valves so people can pick it up and hold it and play with it, right? And we show you how you can make parts out of simple, everyday, off-the-shelf, a plastic jar, cut some notches in it, like you see there, and bingo, a little tube on the side, and that's your air brake. So you see that? So you can make your own, okay? So it's kind of neat. We can run the tea maker over there going. Or if I come here and I switch the valve, if I open up this valve and I close that valve, I start this water pump going again. So this is our water coming over to here. Notice we're just about the overflow point here. And that's equal to that pipe on the inside. So this one is filled back up. And watch here, it's gonna start coming out. Bingo, there she goes. And you watch the water level come down. When it gets to here, that goes drip dry, bingo, breaks the siphon, and starts all over again. So there you go, University of Hawaii Science Fair Project, four foot by four foot, and you have six different systems running. Enjoy.